Welcome beekeepers and honeybee heroes. Are you ready to unlock the secrets to a thriving, happy bee colony? Today, we're diving headfirst into a topic that's not just important. It's the lifeblood of successful beekeeping, bee health and maintenance. Whether you're a seasoned apiarist with years of experience or an eager newbie with a passion for these incredible pollinators, this is the video you've been waiting for. Why is this topic a must watch? Because a healthy hive doesn't just happen. It's a masterpiece you create through knowledge, care, and a sprinkle of love. So grab your bee suits and let's get buzzing. This is one journey into the hive you won't want to miss. How do I keep my bees healthy? Nutrition. The first step in ensuring your bees are healthy is providing them with a balanced diet. Bees need two primary sources of food. Nectar, which provides carbohydrates, and pollen, which offers proteins, fats, and vitamins. Plant a variety of flowers that bloom at different times of the year to ensure a consistent food supply. If natural sources are scarce, especially in winter, you may need to supplement their diet with sugar syrup or pollen patties. Education. Elevate your beekeeping skills with our expertise. Knowledge is the cornerstone of successful beekeeping. We encourage you to immerse yourself in as much educational material as you can. To make this journey easier and more enjoyable for you, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We regularly publish insightful videos packed with valuable tips and tricks to enhance your beekeeping experience. Don't miss out on our latest content. Click on the notification bell to receive real-time updates whenever we release a new video. Hydration, the lifeline for a thriving bee colony. Water is an essential resource for bees, serving multiple functions within the hive. Here's why hydration is so crucial. Cooling the hive. During hot summer days, worker bees collect water to regulate the hive's temperature. They distribute droplets around the hive and fan their wings to evaporate the water, effectively cooling the interior. Diluting honey. Bees store honey as a concentrated food source. However, they sometimes need to dilute it to make it more consumable, especially for younger bees. A reliable water source is vital for this process. Larva care. Water is also essential for feeding the larva and maintaining the right humidity levels within the brood chamber. Setting up a water source. To ensure your bees have easy access to water, place a clean, shallow dish filled with water near the hive. Adding small stones or floating cork pieces creates landing spots, allowing bees to drink without the risk of drowning. Ventilation. The key to a healthy hive environment. Proper ventilation is not just a luxury, it's a necessity for a thriving bee colony. Here's why. Temperature regulation. Bees are highly sensitive to temperature changes. A well-ventilated hive helps maintain a stable internal temperature, crucial for brood development and honey storage. Moisture control. Excess moisture within the hive can create a breeding ground for mold and disease. Adequate ventilation helps to wick away moisture, keeping the hive dry and less susceptible to these issues. Gas exchange. Bees respire, and like all living creatures, they produce carbon dioxide. Proper ventilation ensures that fresh air circulates through the hive, allowing for efficient gas exchange. Implementing ventilation solutions. To achieve optimal ventilation, consider the following. Hive design. Make sure your hive design allows for good airflow. Some hives come with built-in ventilation features. Ventilation holes. Adding small holes near the top of the hive can improve air circulation. Just make sure they're adequately screened to keep out pests. Screened bottom boards. These allow air to flow from the bottom, aiding in moisture control and making it more challenging for pests like Varroa mites to re-enter the hive after falling off bees. By paying close attention to hydration and ventilation, you're setting the stage for a healthy, productive bee colony. Seasonal care. A year-round commitment to your bees. Beekeeping is not a set-it-and-forget-it endeavor. It requires year-round attention and care tailored to each season's unique challenges. Winter, insulation and heat. Insulating the hive. As temperatures drop, it's crucial to insulate your hive to help the bees maintain a warm environment. Some beekeepers use hive wraps or foam boards for added insulation. Heat source. In extremely cold climates, you may need to provide an external heat source, 
like a hive heater, to prevent the colony from freezing. Spring, expansion and swarm control. Hive inspection. Spring is the time for a thorough hive inspection to assess the colony's health and prepare for the busy season ahead. Swarm prevention. As the colony grows, there's a risk of swarming. Implement swarm control techniques like splitting the hive or adding more space to prevent overcrowding. Summer, honey harvest and hive maintenance. Harvesting honey. This is the season when your hard work pays off. Monitor the honey stores and plan your harvest accordingly. Regular checks. Continue regular hive inspections to ensure the colony is healthy and to identify any potential issues early. Fall, preparing for winter. Food stores. Make sure your bees have enough honey stored for the winter months. Supplement with sugar syrup if necessary. Pest control. Fall is a good time to treat for pests like varroa mites to ensure a healthy colony going into winter. What are the signs of a sick bee colony? Behavioral changes. Altered activity levels. Reduced foraging. A noticeable decline in foraging activity can be a sign of colony stress or illness. Erratic behavior. Unusual flying patterns or disoriented movements may indicate a problem within the hive. Communication disruption. Bees communicate through intricate dances and pheromones. Any disruption in these activities could signify stress or disease. Physical symptoms. Visible warning signs. Deformed wings. This is often a sign of varroa mite infestation and requires immediate attention. Discolored bodies. Discoloration can indicate a range of issues, from fungal infections like nosema to pesticide exposure. Lethargy. Sluggish behavior or a lack of activity can be a sign of nutritional deficiencies or more severe health issues. By being attentive to these signs and adjusting your care routine according to the seasons, you can maintain a healthy, thriving bee colony. Hive inspection, your early warning system. Conducting regular hive inspections is not just a routine task. It's an essential practice that can alert you to potential issues before they escalate. Here's what to focus on during your inspections. Mold and moisture. Mold presence. Mold is a sign of poor ventilation and excess moisture. If you spot mold, it's crucial to improve airflow and perhaps reconsider your hive's location. Moisture levels. Excessive moisture can lead to mold and other diseases. Check for water accumulation and take steps to improve drainage. Bee population. Dead bees. A large number of dead bees outside or inside the hive is a red flag that requires immediate investigation. Dwindling population. A declining number of bees can indicate various issues, from disease and pests to a failing queen. Pest control. Varroa mites. These parasites can wreak havoc on your hive. Look for bees with deformed wings or varroa mites on the bees themselves. Hive beetles. These pests can spoil honey and pollen stores. Check for adult beetles or larvae and consider traps or treatments if you find them. Queen health. The heartbeat of the hive. The queen bee plays a pivotal role in the hive's health and productivity. Her well-being directly impacts the entire colony. Egg-laying patterns. Reduced egg laying. A noticeable drop in egg laying could signify that the queen is unhealthy or stressed. Drone production. An increase in the number of drone bees, males, can indicate that the queen is failing, as she may only be able to lay unfertilized eggs. Hive cohesion. Lack of cohesion. A healthy queen emits pheromones that help maintain social order within the hive. If you notice a lack of cohesion or increased aggression among worker bees, it could be a sign of a failing queen. Requeening. When to requeen? If you observe these signs and suspect your queen is failing, it may be time to consider requeening your hive. This involves introducing a new, healthy queen to ensure the colony's continued success. By keeping a close eye on these aspects during your hive inspections and understanding the critical role of the queen, you can proactively manage your bee colony's health. How do I treat for mites and other pests? A comprehensive guide. Managing pests is a critical aspect of maintaining a healthy bee colony. Here's a deep dive into how to identify, treat, and prevent common bee pests. Identification. Know your enemy. Varroa mites. These tiny, reddish-brown parasites latch onto bees and feed on their hemolymph, weakening the colony over time. 
Signs include deformed wings and a declining bee population. Hive beetles, small, dark insects that can spoil your honey and pollen stores. Look for adult beetles or larvae during your hive inspections. Wax moths. These pests can destroy your comb and create a mess in the hive. Watch for webbing and tunneling in the comb as signs of an infestation. Chemical treatments. Effective but use with caution. Miticides. These are often the first line of defense against Varroa mites. While effective, they can leave residues in honey and wax. Resistance. Overuse of chemical treatments can lead to resistant strains of mites. It's essential to follow manufacturer guidelines and consider rotating treatments to mitigate this risk. Natural treatments, organic alternatives. Essential oils. Oils like thyme and lemongrass can deter pests and are a more natural alternative to chemicals. However, they often require more frequent application. Drone trapping. This technique involves trapping drone larvae, which are a favorite target of Varroa mites, thereby reducing mite numbers. Prevention, the best medicine. Regular inspections, consistent hive checks can help you catch infestations early, making them easier to manage. Hive hygiene, keeping the area around your hive clean can deter pests. Remove any debris where pests might hide. Screened bottom boards, these allow mites and other small pests to fall through, making it harder for them to re-enter the hive. By adopting a multifaceted approach to pest management, you can keep your bee colony healthy and productive. Whether you opt for chemical treatments, natural alternatives, or a combination of both, the key is to be proactive and vigilant in your care practices. How often should I inspect my beehive? A guided approach. Regular hive inspections are not just a good practice. They're essential for maintaining a healthy and thriving bee colony. Here's how to tailor your inspection frequency to different situations. Regular inspections, the heartbeat of hive management. Frequency. During the active season, typically spring through early fall, a good rule of thumb is to inspect your hive every 7 to 10 days. What to look for? Use this time to check for signs of disease, assess food stores, and confirm that the queen is active and laying eggs. Also, keep an eye out for pests like Varroa mites or hive beetles. Seasonal inspections. Adapting to the calendar. Winter inspections, during the colder months, it's best to minimize hive inspections to avoid disrupting the colony's thermal stability. However, quick checks for adequate food stores and signs of disease can be beneficial. Seasonal adjustments, depending on your geographic location and local climate, you may need to adjust your inspection frequency to align with local flowering seasons, nectar flows, or other environmental factors. Special circumstances, when extra attention is needed. Extreme weather. After events like storms or heat waves, it's advisable to inspect the hive for any damage or signs of stress. Behavioral changes. If you notice unusual behavior, such as reduced foraging or increased aggression, an immediate inspection is warranted to identify the cause. Record keeping. The backbone of effective management. Detailed notes. Keep a dedicated beekeeping journal or digital record where you note down key observations from each inspection. This should include population size, honey stores, and any signs of disease or pests. Long-term insights. Consistent record keeping can provide invaluable insights over time, helping you identify trends, patterns, or emerging issues before they escalate into significant problems. By adopting a disciplined approach to hive inspections, you're setting the stage for a healthy, productive bee colony. Whether you're a novice beekeeper or a seasoned expert, these guidelines can serve as a roadmap for effective hive management. If you've stuck around until the end of this video, it's clear you're serious about your beekeeping journey, and we're thrilled to be a part of it. Do you want to continue to elevate your beekeeping skills, discover insider tips, and keep your hive buzzing with health and happiness? Then there's only one thing left to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Why subscribe? Because it's the golden ticket to a treasure trove of beekeeping wisdom. Plus, your support genuinely helps us create more of the content you love. So go ahead, make your beekeeping adventure even sweeter, subscribe now and become a part of our buzzing community. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep those hives happy and healthy.